Kevin Serafin he's checked in for Lopez Smith comes in for Perzingis Derek Williams checked in for Anthony and Freak subbed in for Jose Calderon and New York looking at who they've got Freak in at point guard Kevin Serafin is out there with Smith then it's Williams and it's a follow in at the shooting guard I mean even from over here you can see that one pretty clearly no question about it Greg I mean a ton of contact and a good call by the officials and he can't get the first one Corey Brewers checked in for Dwight Howard That's off as well, so he misses both. Rockets trail by four, moving it up. And it's Lawson, that time on the assist by Brewer. Six points for Lawson. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin McHale had a few moments for me. With this being their first meeting of the year, he stressed to his team to rely on their instincts on the offensive end, saying, we do a good job of finding soft spots in defenses and not forcing anything. As long as we can continue doing that here, we'll be in good shape. We'll see if that holds true, guys. And thanks as always, Doris. And guys, the emphasis on quality shooting, getting those chances identified by their coach is a key for them. And I think that means they must work as a complete unit out there, cooperate, sharing the ball, and, and try to limit the one-on-one -on -one play. And if they can do that, they will have success shooting the basketball. I think it's guaranteed. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 13 points a game last season. Five assists and three. Pay his dues that rookie campaign, earning his stripes. A lot of people think he could have a breakout year this season. Well, his coaches, his teammates, they've been singing his praises, Greg. I mean, let's see if he can prove them right. Oh! Yes. Whoa, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. That Kia slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. The Knicks leading by seven. Freak with it. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. And, and what I enjoyed when watching that game was the way he balanced getting his shot and also incorporating his teammates. Now, here's Beverly. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Harden. Looking to end the run. Kept alive. Pass to Ariza. Second chance shot. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Freak kicks to Williams. For three, Smith. It's rebounded by Houston. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. The Knicks leading by seven. Now here's Freak. And the Knicks good for two. And a new beginning here, if you will, for Freak. Change the front of his jersey, and he's looking to have a fresh start with his new team. And, you know, that can be a bit of a whirlwind when you move from one team to another, Kevin. But Freak certainly has the talent to hopefully be able to work smoothly through it. He knows he's got to stay focused on the court, and he has shown the ability to do that. Brewer with a screen for Beverly. Back to Jones. Off target from outside. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Now here's Freak, defended by Beverly. Kick out to a follow. Shot clock at six. From deep. The rebound by Harden. Rockets trail by 11. Shoots it up. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Harden's got his second basket. 
New York's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Here's Serafin. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Beverly, soft touch off the glass. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. Here's Freak. Shot misses. The Rockets go the other way with it. Harden outside. Jones, no one around him. Off target with the open look. For the New York Knicks, they come into this one following a loss to San Antonio. And talk about a team that just never seemed to get into a rhythm offensively. It was just an ugly game to watch. Yeah, that's an understatement. I mean, they didn't appear to have any kind of cohesiveness in terms of game plan. And they never figured out how to attack the defense in that. That's good. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. New York leading by eight. 110 left in the first. Freak dishes to Seraphim. And Aflalo wide open. He shoots. Trains it from beyond the arc. Aflalo's got six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Ariza, right side. The dish to Brewer. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltending. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. And the Rockets making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. O'Quinn's checked in. The Knicks have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, not only the trips to the line are concerned, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet and do so without fouls. The Rockets have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And one of the weaker areas for this group only shot about 71% from the line a season ago. And it's something they know that if they improve, can really have a big impact on their success. Monty Yunus has checked in for the Rockets. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. A three-pointer off the mark. The Knicks leading by nine. And that one's good. Freak. Come on now. Come on now. Freak's go. got nine. He couldn't have dreamed of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. It's like everybody is in a rhythm right now, and double stuff here early on. Both teams playing downhill. You know, coaches say that all the time. You want to play downhill. Well, at some point, you think somebody's got to cool off in this one, right? Here from Ty Lawson talking about the balanced attack of this Denver Nugget team. We do have a team type of game. You know, everybody is scoring spread out, rebounding, everything spread out. So, you know, even from the bench, you know, it's definitely a team type game. Well, that was the game plan a couple years ago when Denver was good enough to make the playoffs and Ty Lawson was at the control. You know, but, but not enough firepower to be able to sustain with the elite teams, uh, say like the Warriors or the Rockets. Ty Lawson, a, a solid, dependable player in our league, but this is still a league where you need your superstars to win rings. Move the ball. Stick it too much. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? 
And really, it's always a positive when you can get some impact off your bench. Always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves. And they've had firepower and then some so far. Cody Unis and Howard, the post pair. Watson out there with McDaniels. And it's Brewer in at the three spot. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Freak. Tight defense on him. O'Quinn, the pass to Calderon. Anthony kicks to Freak. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And that's now 11 points for Freak. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. A shot by Lawson right open. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Now here's Freak. Defense right on him. Kicks it to Carmelo. Anthony missing again. Yeah, great look, but disappointing with a miss. Boy, what happened on that one, Greg? I mean, that's almost an automatic shot for him. Lawson kicks to Howard, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Look at oh, that jam! Wow. I mean, this is beautiful. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. I tell you what, I used to love to go up and jam like that. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Spurs really lit up the floor. He finished 21 points, and the basket seemed pretty big to him. He didn't miss a whole lot all night. He seemed to be everywhere on the floor the entire time and really was the star of the show, Kevin. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance. Yeah, that's, that's certainly one that we'll be talking about here for a long time. I say it would make it to his greatest hit spot. No doubt about it. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact in. That's on Dwight Howard. Been a stellar outing in this one for free. 13 points. And he's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Clark, just a very energetic brand of defense. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Houston. Harden comes in for Brewer. Robin Lopez is checked in for New York. They can't guard us on the perimeter. But spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. All right, a chance to check out stats for Hart. Coming off a terrific season, he put up about 22 points a game, seven assists, and six rebounds. And he brings that offensive firepower to the team. Scoring just comes naturally. And, you know, defenses are, are throwing everything at him, Sid, yet he's still able to put up points. He's really unstoppable. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Move the ball. Now here's Freak. Lawson defending. Freak. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Fourth, Freak. You know, nobody said this guy couldn't miss last season. And because he was such a good percentage shooter, one of the best in the league, his teammates always were looking for him. And that one misses. And he's good on the second. And stolen by Freak. The layup missed. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Feeds it to McDaniels. From outside, off the mark. Boy, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Out to Anthony. Out to the right wing. Here's Persingas. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Persingas has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Lawson outside. He dishes it to Hart. It's tipped. Calderon against Lawson. Now here's Calderon. Not a lot of room. And here's Freak. 
15 points in the game. Clock at four. It's stolen by Ariza. 